So when I get something on my mind, I have to make a video. And this video probably will be quite lengthy. So if you're one of those individuals that likes a 30 second or three minute video, this is not for you. Anyhow, I was watching a special on the cathedral in Cologne, Germany. And it's a massive structure and has quite an interesting history to it. But one of the things that leaped out at me when I watched that special was that supposedly the cathedral <coughs> was exempt in the bombing of Cologne in World War II. Everything around it is in massive ruins, but the cathedral is just fine. See the spiral? Now, in that special that I watched, they went on to sort of dispute a little bit whether the cathedral was actually damaged or not during World War II. But for the most part, it seems to be agreed that the cathedral was completely exempt from all the bombing, which included some fire bombs, just like the bombing of Dresden. Dave J showed us fire bombing of Dresden was a hoax. Thank you, Dave. Incidentally, I would not be making any videos were it not for the outstanding work of Dave J. Now I think Dave in that video showed how they overlaid rubble and stuff to try to create a false photograph of the bombing of Dresden. Now according to this uh, Wikipedia, if you trust it, tells you that this city was completely blitzed, supposedly, by bombs. And by the way, if you watch some of my other videos, I will even raise into question whether bombing is, was actually feasible. And most of that has to do with the physics of dropping tons and tons of material and then remaining level in the air and not having the bomber planes go into a nose dive after releasing this tonnage. So it's very questionable. Even bombing itself is a hoax. So if you look at what they're saying is that <clears throat> that this city was really, really blitzed with bombing. 262 raids by the Allies in World War II. And supposedly 20,000 civilians died from aerial bombardment starting in May of 1940. So I'm going to take you now to some videos of uh, war footage about the bombing of Cologne. Notice how they add that sound, okay, to give you the idea of bombing. And that is indicative of the fact that you're being hoaxed, that they have to put sound in there like, oh, something's falling out of the sky. We have a long list of German cities in which 
the vital industries of the German war machine are established. With all these, it will be our stern duty to deal with, as we have already dealt with Zubeck, with Rostock, and half a dozen important bases. Now, if that's supposed to be Churchill, I identified Churchill for you. Go to my channel, Who is Who in Hoaxology. He was an actor. The civil population of Germany have, however, an easy way to escape from these severities. All they have to do is to leave the cities where munition work is being carried on, abandon their work, and go out into the fields and watch the home fires burning from a distance. Hard upon the heels of Mr. Churchill's grim promise to Germany came the fact. Goering has often threatened us with air raids by a thousand bombers, but it was the Royal Air Force that carried it out that last night of May 1942, and the target was Cologne. We are privileged to hear the order which set the raid machinery in motion, given by Air Officer Commanding in Chief Bomber Command, Air Marshal Harris. Press home your attack. If you individually succeed, you will have delivered the most devastating blow against the very vitals of the enemy. Let him have it. So think about this. If what you read is true, that they're dropping things that will kill human beings, and this is supposed to be delightful, this is supposed to be wonderful, and you're supposed to use cameras to record this? Shame on them! Now it's a hoax. I take the position that Dave J. taught us. War is a hoax. Strategic relocation. Controlled demolition. And I add to Dave's list intensive propaganda. So you're being bombarded by propaganda films to try to convince you that they delighted in killing 20,000 Germans, civilians, women, children. It's not true because it was all done as a media atrocity. Well, by that I mean, yes, it's an atrocity, but it's an atrocity only in the media, not in reality, not in real, honest-to-God, face-to-face life. Anyhow, this is going to be a lengthy video, so if you want to bail out, get your parachute, bail out. If you can't handle what I'm saying, get your parachute and bail out. Right on the chin. Send that message to all groups and stations. And so these giants of the RAF are being groomed for the attack. Great Halifaxes, Manchesters, Lancasters and Stirlings, as well as Wellingtons, Hamdens and Whitleys. At this bomber station we hear the briefing by the group captain, station commander. You people this evening have the very good fortune of forming one small part. Now notice that the voice sounds female. I can't help but to say it. The largest bomber force which has ever operated in a single operation in the whole history of air warfare. Now, this force, of which you are a part, has, in my opinion, at last assumed a respectable proportion. It's not a jeasly one of 300 aircraft, or even a moderate one of 600 aircraft, or even one of 900 aircraft, but numbers well over 1,000 aircraft. Do you remember how those jack-booted German troops marched over Cologne Bridge to reoccupy the Rhineland in 1936? That for the world was the rebirth of German lust for bloodshed and conquest. It's poetic justice that it should be Cologne that got the first raid of the Thousand Plan. Notice he said the lust for 
blood and conquest like they're vampires. Not human beings. And somebody might say, well, you're unpatriotic. No. I just want to acknowledge that the people living in Germany were as human as I am human. Lusting for blood. You really believe it? What's coming to the Nazis in Germany is what they would do to us if they could, and still will if they can. Because we're bombing Germany harder now than they're bombing us doesn't mean they're finished. It's only a part of the process of finishing them, so that they can't bring homeless misery, mutilation and terror to our own people. Never forget it was Hitler's Germany that started this. We never wanted it. And since our would-be peacemakers for all their trying failed to keep the peace, let the men of war get peace back again in the only possible way, the hard way. Thanks, Bomber Command. You're doing a grand job. This was Cologne making war with factories, but the RAF has thrown a spanner in the works. They're coming back again. Hello, Hornet, H. Harry. Hector answering, Aerodrome 1500. Oh, we certainly give Cologne good pasting this time, anyway. I look down over the target, nothing but a sea of... Look, he's trying to keep from smiling. You can see it. He's trying. He's trying to hold back the duping delight. Fire. And aircraft still coming in to drop there, so I think uh, Cologne's really had it this time. Uh, as we approach the target, see it from about 70 or 80 miles away, and as we got towards it, never seen so many aircraft in the air before in my life. The whole place is a mass of flames, lighting up everything. Yes, they did a... The whole place is a mass of flames. And yet, the cathedral is absolutely fine. Now, they're going to interject at some point in time some nonsense like the uh, bombers were instructed not to bomb the cathedral. Now, how could that be? Now, look at this. These are just people acting for a camera. Grand job, all right. Lubeck, Rostock, those are only just the beginning. When the storm bursts over Germany, they will look back to the days of Lubeck and Rostock and Cologne as a man caught in the blasts of a hurricane will look back to the gentle zephyrs of last summer. It may take a year, it may take two, but for the Nazis, the writing is on the wall. Let them look out for themselves. The cure is in their own hands. There are a lot of people who say that bombing can never win a war. Well, my answer to that is that it has never been tried yet, and we shall see. Germany, clinging more and more desperately to her widespread conquests and even seeking foolishly for more, will make a most interesting initial experiment. Japan will provide the confirmation. But the time is not yet. There is a great deal of work to be done first, and let us all get down to it. Okay, so it's a propaganda film meant to inspire the British people. We got some bombs down on Germany in Cologne. But did they really? Now, this is a lengthy video, so once again, if you need to get your parachute, you can bail out on me. Uh, I'm going to do another segment here, and we're going to go to another propaganda film. Lionel Gamlin reporting. This is what Cologne looks like today. Cologne, the target of the first RAF thousand bomber raid. 
always high on the list of bomber command targets. It's received a total of over 32... Okay, it looks very similar to the nonsense that was shown in the bombing of Dresden. Now, an interesting thing is, if the destruction was total, why, are, why is there any structure still remaining? And are you really looking at the actual city, or are you looking at models or Photoshop? Now, they wouldn't have had the uh, software we call Photoshop, but don't kid yourself or fool yourself. They did have sophisticated technology that the American public knew nothing about. My estimate is they've always been at least 25, 30 years ahead of what you currently see in the field of technology. So they very well could have done some interesting things like convincing people an entire city was laid flat by a bunch of bombers dropping bombs on them. Thousand tons from the Royal Air Force. The destruction is now see, there's the cathedral. Absolutely perfectly fine. And incidentally, while we're pointing that out, why is this smokestack fine? Okay. Again, a steeple is a phallic symbol, and a smokestack is a phallic symbol. <laughs> great. Something like 60% of the city has been completely rubbed out. But vast as it is, it was not caused wantonly or in the enemy's haphazard way. The elimination of Cologne as a production center and as a defensive bastion has obviously saved... Okay, you can see that it doesn't look genuine. Okay? In a photographic studio, they overlaid some images. lives in the invasion of Germany. Civilians who remained in the city had clearly been living an underground life beneath buildings and piles of rubble. The bombing of the fourth city of the Reich should be an object lesson. So you have people in in their nice Sunday suits, okay? Nice clothing, just meandering among all this dusty rubble. Does that make any sense to you? Both for the immediate and the more distant future, to all Germans capable of thinking for themselves. But the lesson isn't quite finished yet. The 12,000 pound bomb is almost a midget nowadays, though it's still extremely effective. But RAF Lancasters are now using a 22,000 pounder, a 10 ton bomb. In other words, nearly twice as big as the one you've just seen. Their 10-tonner was first used on the viaduct at Bielefeld, which carried one of the last remaining two... Okay, so we're going to go to another uh, news clip here. And supposedly this was, whoop, this was done in uh, March 26, and this is the American version of Cologne. There's no sound, by the way. <clears throat> now look, that looks that looks filled in over here. This looks genuine. This looks uh, fake. You can see it. Genuine fake. Genuine left side, right side fake. Now there's no sound on this particular reel. Okay, now there you have it. Supposedly everything around the cathedral is devastated. But look, there's the spirals. They're just fine. Like I said, one of the nonsense videos will say, the bombers were instructed not to bomb the cathedral. <laughs> Come on.
Okay, there's no sound on this particular video showing you the cathedral, the spirals of the cathedral in Cologne. But everything around it's a complete and total wreck, right? Okay, now we're going to go to another one. And again, it's a lengthy video. I'm not apologizing for it. Most people want 30 second videos. If so, go to another channel. <laughs> okay, Blitz on Cologne, World War II documentary. This is supposedly little by little. They're going in after. And look, incidentally, look, this is the start of the film. Look at this, how there's the helmets here, and then look at this. And then when you see a hat like that, that's the hat of Saturn. The devil. Okay, Saturn's just another name for the devil. Now, you saw a bunch of guys running around the city and dubbed in where supposedly bullets ricocheting and stuff. The sound effect. So they're just adding sound effects to people acting. that would they be standing upright and running like that tell me something if you heard guns shooting off like that would you be upright and would you be running out in the open like that come on use your head you hear a gunshot you're going down you're gonna stay low you're gonna stay behind something until you know what's going on they're acting Supposedly this is Cologne, Germany, World War II. Now I don't doubt that they did some controlled demolition, as Dave J has instructed us, that you may actually be witnessing some controlled demolition, not necessarily tank fire or anything like that. Just bringing down some old buildings. This is a junk. Now once again, there's, there's the spirals of the cathedral in the background, see that? Everything around is war, bombs, bullets, explosions, but the cathedral is just fine. In the afternoon it was all over, and the first of the fighting patrols were about to share an experience they would never forget. These men had seen war battered towns before. They had already seen the effects of the devastation that the war had caused to the towns of Cairn, Clev, and Arkham. But they were not prepared for what they saw in this city, Cologne. Yeah, they're not prepared to see a cathedral that's absolutely fine, and supposedly everything around it's in ruins? The sight they beheld was awesome. The city lay in complete ruins, save only for the spires of the cathedral, which still soared miraculously to the sky. One war correspondent on which... Okay, you miraculously, right. So, let's go on here to a few more things. Again, it's a lengthy video, no apologies. This is the so-called uh, tank duel that occurred in Cologne. Supposedly, again, a tank battle in the streets of Cologne... And the cathedral is fine. A little bit of acting there. Just driving a tank around where you can't hardly move, move a tank. <laughs> tank coming right to the camera. Why? For a show. Again, there's the cathedral, just fine. Boom, boom, boom. A 
Let's run over Hitler. Supposedly, there was a tank battle right on the streets of Cologne, near the cathedral. Supposedly. Now, listen, I've never been in the military, so some of my comments don't have as much credibility, but I highly doubt that there's flames shooting out of a tank like that up in the air. They would have been added for your benefit. Now there you are. See, they showed you this wonderful tank battle, but there's a cathedral just fine. Now, listen, I'm not entirely sure, but you see this individual right here? I believe that's Victor Mature, the actor. I'm not entirely sure. Incidentally, my mother met this actor. The actor went on a tour to promote war bonds. And he entered into an elevator where my mother was. And he offered to buy ice cream cone for her. Um, anyhow, that's a little side view, but I'm pretty sure that is him. Because actors would have been used to make these films. Remember, they're propaganda films. They're not actual reality films of real, quote, R-E-A-L battles. They're real, R-E-E-L, just fantasy. Okay, now, how do you keep something like this alive? Well, uh, you go to a, uh, let's see, I don't think I have it. No, I must have, I must have removed it. Anyhow, what I was looking for is, and I'll maybe do another video on that, that <clears throat> supposedly in Cologne, the city was evacuated a few years ago because they found a bomb from World War II that could have exploded. It's all a bunch of nonsense. But back to the original thesis. Was Cologne bombed in World War II? Or did they just bomb your brain? Now the reason I'm saying that is because of this right here. That is the cathedral. The cathedral miraculously survived everything. Hmm. Strange indeed, isn't it? It's such a huge structure in a major city survives all the bombs that are dropped over it. And how many bombs supposedly were dropped? Well, according to Wikipedia, <laughs> a total of 34,711 Long tons of bomb were dropped on the city by the RAF. 20,000 civilians died in aerial bombardments. It began in 1940. It was the first bomb raid by the RAF. So do you believe it? You want to believe their fantastic stories?
that everything is rubble. Barney rubble. <laughs> Everything is rubble? But the Cathedral of Cologne. I'd like to thank you for watching this video and a triple thank you if you got to the end of this video. This concludes the video on the bombing of Cologne in World War II. Thank you for watching.